When you are pregnant, genetic testing can provide valuable information regarding your pregnancy. One of these tests is non-invasive prenatal testing, also known as NIPT. The aim of this video is to provide more information about Next Genetics NIPT, known as TriScreen, and help you to decide if it may be right for you. NIPT won't be right for everyone, so it is important that you understand the information that the test can provide about your pregnancy, as well as the limitations of the test. This video does not replace a genetic counseling session or a detailed discussion with your healthcare provider, but provides general information that will allow you to ask further questions. There are many different prenatal testing options available to determine if there is a chromosomal abnormality present in a pregnancy. These tests can be divided into two categories, diagnostic tests and screening tests. Diagnostic tests, like chorionic villi sampling or amniocentesis, can confirm the presence of a chromosomal abnormality. As these are invasive tests, each have a small chance of a miscarriage as a result of the procedure. Screening tests, like an ultrasound or a blood test, such as NIPT or maternal serum screening, can evaluate if there is a higher or lower chance that the pregnancy is affected by a chromosomal abnormality. As these tests are not invasive, there is no risk to you or your pregnancy. However, these tests cannot confirm or completely rule out the presence of a chromosomal condition. NIPT safely and non-invasively screens for the most common chromosomal abnormalities from as early as 10 weeks of pregnancy. During pregnancy, DNA from the placenta is present in the mother's blood. We call this cell-free DNA. The laboratory analyzes the placental cell-free DNA and the mother's cell-free DNA to provide information about the likelihood of a chromosomal abnormality being present. TriScreen NIPT uses a single blood sample taken from the mother's arm and is more accurate than using only combined first trimester screening tests and ultrasound in the detection of chromosomal abnormalities. Humans usually have 46 chromosomes in almost every cell in our body. They come in pairs which are numbered from 1 to 22 and the last pair are the sex chromosomes. Females typically have two X chromosomes, while males typically have an X and a Y chromosome. One chromosome of each pair comes from our mother and the other from our father. A change in the number of chromosomes can lead to a change in development. Having three copies of a chromosome instead of the usual two copies is called a trisomy, while only having one copy of a chromosome instead of the usual two copies is called a monosomy. A trisomy or a monosomy can result in a chromosomal condition such as Down syndrome. In addition to whole chromosomes that can be extra or missing, in some cases it can also be pieces of chromosomes that are extra or missing. The risk of having a pregnancy with a chromosomal abnormality increases as a woman gets older, although chromosomal abnormalities can occur at any age. TriScreen can provide information about the most commonly occurring chromosomal abnormalities, which include trisomy 21, also known as Down syndrome, trisomy 18, also known as Edwards syndrome, and trisomy 13, also known as Patau syndrome. TriScreen can also tell you more about sex chromosome disorders by providing information about the likelihood of a fetus having extra or missing X or Y chromosomes. Testing the sex chromosomes will also tell you if the fetus is female or male. However, not everyone wants to know the sex of the fetus during pregnancy. So please make sure to discuss this with your healthcare provider as this is optional information. In addition to screening for the most common chromosomal abnormalities, TriScreen Plus screens all chromosomes from one to 22, as well as the sex chromosomes and can also screen for extra or missing pieces of chromosomes. Your healthcare provider can also opt to include screening for five specific microdeletion syndromes. Microdeletion syndromes are caused by very small missing pieces of chromosomes. Each syndrome has its own unique features 
and this testing will usually be requested by your healthcare provider if there is a specific concern. For anyone considering TriScreen Plus and or microdeletion testing, we strongly advise having a detailed discussion with your healthcare provider or a genetic counsellor who can provide you with more information about the possible outcomes of the test, as these results may be more complex than the results obtained by testing for the more common chromosomal abnormalities. Your NIPT result may be reported as increased risk for a chromosomal abnormality or low risk for a chromosomal abnormality. If your NIPT result is reported as low risk, this means your pregnancy is not at an increased risk for the abnormalities included in the test. It is important to remember that a low risk result does not provide a guarantee of a healthy pregnancy as NIPT does not screen for all genetic conditions or birth defects and there remains a very small possibility of a false negative result. You should continue with all routine pregnancy management as advised by your healthcare provider. If your NIPT result is reported as an increased risk, this means there is a higher chance for a specific chromosomal abnormality. As NIPT is a screening test, even if an increased risk is reported, it is possible that the pregnancy does not have the chromosomal abnormality. Although NIPT is the most accurate screening test for chromosomal conditions, there are some biological and technical reasons why a result may be reported as an increased risk, even if the condition is not truly present. No irreversible clinical decision should be made based on NIPT results alone. All patients who receive increased risk NIPT results should consider a confirmatory diagnostic test like a chorionic villus sampling or amniocentesis. A detailed discussion with your healthcare provider or a genetic counsellor is advised to discuss your options in more detail. NIPT is a screening test and not a diagnostic test. It can test for specific chromosomal abnormalities, including extra or missing chromosomes or pieces of chromosomes, but it cannot test for all genetic conditions, birth defects, or health and developmental problems. It is important to discuss your family history and past pregnancy history, as well as any health concerns in your current pregnancy with your healthcare provider, as additional or different testing may be advised. As NIPT is testing DNA from the placenta and not directly from the fetus, it is possible that the results obtained may not reflect the DNA of the fetus. In most cases, DNA from the placenta and fetus are the same. That is why NIPT is a very reliable screening tool. However, in a small number of cases, there can be differences in the DNA of the placenta and the fetus. This can lead to false positive and false negative results. For this reason, all positive results should be followed up with a diagnostic test and an in-depth discussion with your healthcare provider. There are many factors to consider when deciding on screening for your pregnancy. NIPT is an optional, non-invasive screening tool that can provide information about the risk of chromosomal abnormalities in your pregnancy. It is more reliable and accurate than other screening methods. If information regarding the possibility of a chromosomal abnormality in your pregnancy is important to you, NIPT may be right for you. NIPT is a non-invasive genetic test that can be offered from 10 weeks of pregnancy to determine if there is an increased risk of a chromosomal abnormality. NIPT analyzes DNA from the mother and DNA from the placenta, which is called cell-free DNA. As NIPT is a screening tool, any increased risk results should be confirmed with a diagnostic test like a chorionic villus sampling or amniocentesis before making any irreversible clinical decisions about your pregnancy. We strongly recommend discussing the possible implications of an increased risk result with a genetic counsellor or your healthcare provider.